I bought these really ugly couches from this place called Bob's Furniture because my sister was out of town for three months and I panicked and I wanted us to be adults. So I went and I bought couches from Bob's Furniture on a whim. And they're and I I bought them knowing they were ugly, thinking that my sister would appreciate them because she told and she told me she wanted brown leather couches. So I went over to Bob's. Yeah, Bob's Discount Furniture. How do you know? Yeah. And my tenant actually recommended Bob's Discount Furniture. And now I know, don't listen to him. So I bought these couches that I felt were really ugly, but my sister was, as she is right now, traveling the world, playing poker tournaments, and I was home alone. And I felt lonely, so I was like, we need furniture. So I bought this couch that I knew was ugly, thinking she would love it, and then I get it, and she comes home, and she thinks it's absolutely hideous. And and it is a very silly couch. And so then I just stopped inviting our friends into our living room, because I thought it looked weird. Um, and then one time, we went on this whole rant about our couch with our friends, and um, I practically shat on these, this couch for three hours, and then they were like, fine, let us see it. And then we go, and then guess what? They didn't think it was that bad, but then, you know what happened? We accidentally jumped on it, and then we broke it! So then we broke the couch from Bob's Discount Furniture. And now what I'm gonna do is I am selling it to my mother, and my mother is gonna buy it and put it in her, in her house so that we can get rid of it, because it is a hideous couch, and I broke it. So I'm gonna sell it to my mom for a discount. So now it's Bob's and Andrea's Discount Furniture. And I literally told Alex, I'd rather not having a living room than the couch that we have right now. Because it's dead-ass embarrassing. I'll bring people over, and I'm like, oh, here, sit, here. And it's just like, it, it's not cool. You're a 21-year-old girl living in LA, and it's just, it's not, it, it doesn't look cool. I'll say it. But it's okay, because my room is cool, except the fact that half of it is turned into a nightclub. Um, yeah, this, it's coming together. But my stream room, I'm trying to make this place more homey too. We just got those stupid ass curtains that kind of give us old lady vibes. Um, and you can't really put stuff in the walls because last time I put a TV in the wall, it fell out of it and almost killed me. So these walls aren't very sturdy, so we can't really do much about it. But yeah, we're working on it. All right, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to go set up my, my DJ now. Your home isn't about cool, it's about comfort. Yeah, but I like to have a cool home, too, that I could take people to that I want to host people at. TVs aren't that heavy. Well, you see, my dad, I told him we shouldn't have bought it. He went on offer up because he wanted to get a bargain on a TV. So he bought this extra huge TV that is almost so big, it's a waste of space. And it was so big, it fell out of the wall. And then I spent all this time wishing I had a small TV. I don't wonder why we bought this big one because it was on a discount on offer up. And that's kind of where all the problem starts. Now I think about the reason, the, the issue with our house is that we have discounted furniture. So that's where everything goes wrong, I think. That's, that's also what's wrong with the cold plunge. We bought a cold plunge off this suspicious man on the internet who then deleted his account. And then it turned into ice. And now it won't stop beeping in the morning. So maybe that could be a good step to building this house. Would be to stop buying things on sale from random people on the internet. Which is a lesson you would think I have learned, but I think that is the problem. I'm glad we've diagnosed this. Well, he seemed very trustworthy because he had all these videos on his Instagram of him in his handmade saunas. And a lot, he also had a lot of photos hunting the moose, which he just seemed like he was a man who like worked for his food and worked for himself. So I thought surely his cold plunges are trustworthy, but they weren't. Yeah, he had a lot of photos on his Instagram holding up moose. It was really sad. At first, I didn't like it, but then Alex convinced me that we could trust him because of it.